Is it just us, or did The Princess and the Frog remind you a lot of the 90s animated movie The Swan Princess? The more we think about it, the more we think The Princess and the Frog borrowed a lot from this film, and we've got plenty of evidence to prove it. Wait! I know this story! The Fragi Bruto! Number 1. When they're frogs, can you even tell Jean Bob and Naveen apart? Starting with one of the more obvious similarities between the Swan Princess and the Princess and the Frog, both include humans who have been turned into frogs who want to be turned back into humans. I am Prince Naveen. It's a pretty specific plot point for both movies to share, but it gets even more eerily similar when you actually see both humans turned frogs turned humans next to each other. Jean Bob from The Swan Princess and Naveen from The Princess and the Frog, when he's a frog, look very much alike. Precisely. Small, good swimmer, green. Number two. We've all heard the expression, you have to kiss a few frogs to find your prince. And kiss that little frog. Well, Odette and Tiana took this a bit more literally. Of course, this expression comes from the Brothers Grimm fairy tale The Frog Prince, and this is the story The Princess and the Frog was based on. Interestingly, besides the obvious similarity between Jean Bob and Naveen being trapped in frogs' bodies, these frogs are both looking for a kiss from a princess to be returned to their human form. One kiss. Just one. Unless you beg for more. An obvious similarity between the two movies is that the need to kiss frogs to turn them into princes are big plot points. You can do this. You can do this. Just look at it. Just look at it. Okay. Number three. The main characters have matching transformations. There are multiple transformations that take place in both of these movies, and the way an interspecies transformation takes place in each looks eerily similar. In The Princess and the Frog, there's a transformation from woman to frog, and transformations from frogs back to people, and in The Swan Princess, a woman turns into a swan. Since in real life, people don't tend to turn into animals and then back again, that we know of, there's really no precedent for how something like this might happen or look, so we think it seems like the princess and the frog definitely borrowed a little something from the swan princess here. What did you do to me? I'm green and I'm, and I'm slimy. Number four. There sure are a lot of similarities between the waterside settings. Both of these movies are set near the water, which makes sense. Swans, frogs, they live by the water. Still, the way these waterside settings look are really similar, and they make for some scenes and moments that mirror each other like these two romantic seaside moments. We best be pushing on. Number 5. Sad but true. The Swan Princess and the Princess and the Frog both involve main characters' fathers passing away. Princesses in animated movies are known for the strange trend of not typically having mothers, but in both of these movies a character loses a father. While flashbacks show how important Tiana's father was to her in her youth in The Princess and the Frog, when the main timeline of the movie takes place, he is already gone. And in The Swan Princess, Odette's father, King William, passes away. Is gone. Number 6. The spinning ballad choreography in a scene from each movie is super similar. Most animated musicals have a romantic ballad at some point over the course of the movie, and many even have a dance sequence between the romantic leads. But not all of them have the two leads spinning whilst the song is being sung. Both Odette and Derek, and Tiana and Naveen, well, the frog version of Tiana and Naveen, have dreamy moments where they spin while far longer than forever and Ma Belle Evangeline are being performed. While one couple is duetting and the other is just dancing along to the music, these musical moments look very much alike. Lotta's getting herself one heck of a dance partner. <laughs> Number 7. Oh, they just can't wait to be human. Most frogs IRL don't care about becoming human. Actually, we don't know that for sure, but we assume. Yet in both of these movies, there are scenes where they talk or sing about how much they want to be human. Of course, it's not just frogs. While performing the song When We're Human, Tiana and Naveen, who of course are in frog form, are joined by Louis the Alligator, who also accompanies them on the trumpet. Yeah, there's a lot going on with these guys. You could play jazz to adoring crowds without scaring them. Number 8. The Best Kind There are lots of animal friends in The Swan Princess and The Princess and the Frog besides just the main characters who turn into animals. Yes, frogs and a very V.I.S. that stands for Very Important Swan are central in these movies, but both movies also have a motley group of animal friends that join them along the way. Sounds big. It's especially easy to spot the parallels between these animal crews when they're performing That's What You Do For A Friend and Gonna Take You There, respectively. Number 9. Rothbard and Dr. Facilier are the movie's villains. 
Rothbard is an evil villainous sorcerer, while Dr. Facilier is a sinister voodoo witch doctor. They sound like they'd be the best of friends, really. But besides their matching demeanors, they have plenty of other things in common, from their magical abilities to how they work to the way they move. I'm gonna have to deal with him. But how? Number 10. Of course every good animated villain has to have a good animated villain song. Rothbard and Dr. Facilier certainly don't disappoint in this department. Rothbard has No More Mr. Nice Guy, which is the perfect title for a song sung by a guy like him. Dr. Facilier has friends on the other side. We think there's a lot about these villains' performances of their songs that not only sound similar, but also look similar. Number 11. There are parallels to be found in both movies' wedding scenes. In animated movies, happy endings often take place at a happy wedding, and these two films are no different. Both movies have wedding scenes at the end, and while they happen a bit differently, there's one shot in particular that happens in both movies and is just too close to ignore. Number 12. Did you notice the two frogs on a turtle scenes? Both movies have a moment where a frog is riding a turtle, and you don't get much more specific than that. Yes, these matching moments where a frog is sitting on a turtle's shell can't help but remind us of each other, and we have a feeling one may have been inspired by the other. What did I say? What? What? A tin hook! Oh! Number 13. Both movies involve a frog almost getting eaten by an alligator. Nobody wants to have a close call with an alligator, but unfortunately this happens in both movies. In fact, both movies involve frogs having a close call with an alligator. Jean Bob is chased by an alligator in The Swan Princess, and so are the frog versions of Tiana and Naveen in The Princess and the Frog. Okay, well, Tiana and Naveen aren't actually chased by Lewis. But that doesn't mean they weren't spooked by the encounter all the same. Number 14. These movies' parallel endings are too similar to ignore. It's not too difficult to find animated movies with similar endings since they tend to end with happily ever afters. But The Swan Princess and The Princess and the Frog's endings are particularly parallel. Both movies end with the couples kissing while overlooking the water. What a perfect happy ending for humans who were formerly swans and frogs. Number 15. Let's take a look at the very similar posters for these two films. Last but certainly not least, there's a lot of comparisons to be drawn between the movie's poster art. From the gold lettering to the titular princesses surrounded by the supporting characters, there are plenty of obvious similarities, and there are some subtler ones too. If you look closely, you can even see that both posters have menacing villains in the shadows on top and peaceful ponds on the bottom. What do you think? Was the Swan Princess inspo for the Princess and the Frog? Can you remember any other parallel moments from these animated favorites? Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you love videos like this one, make sure you like and subscribe to The Things Animated for lots more videos about all the best animated content. Oui, 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 Odette, yes, I'm alright.